All right, folks, so um, it's almost like part three to this video where we finish it up. Looks like we could only record for so long. So I've got uh, both arms on here. They're actually, you know, relatively stable. Now we've got to put our stabilizations arm on there to really lock this thing in place. And so we need, let's see if it tells us which size screws. 35 by 2 so there's no way it was this these screws um, there may be nuts in here for this part yeah. this is where the nuts come into play I don't think the other holes are threaded And they do have washers in here. A whole bunch of washers that they may they may have failed to bother to tell me where to use them at. Alright. Let us raise this up a little. So gotta put a couple more of these in. They are going slightly out of out of turn here, but I wanted to get these on before I forget about them. And I flip this over. So we have those. And then, like I said, there were a ton of washers in there. So guess what, folks? You were probably supposed to use these at every screw hole. But of course, they don't bother to show you or tell you that. which is, you know, obviously bad directions, right? So folks, I would use one of these screws with every bolt, right? Um, now a lot of these, the washer, the washer is bigger than the bolt, so it'll help spread that load over this really cheap uh, steel we've got on here, just so you know. I'm not going to take all these off in this video, but I will come back and take them all off and uh, correct that. So that would be uh, one of the first things here. Now the stabilization arm, folks, this thing is uh, interesting. It says we need the 14. So we need these long, this long screw and the nuts, I would say, and we probably want two uh, washers on here, okay? So, take this guy, and I don't know that it matters which direction it goes on here. You're not going to be able to tell from the picture which way it goes, most likely. Looks like they've got it potentially like this. Um, so this is the front. Probably better to bang your, your knee on this thing the way it is, right? Instead of banging it the other way. And we'll want the knee on this side, on the inside. Okay. So we're going uh, washer and then nut. And this is where the, uh, the little tools, tool comes into play. Now, these other... So this is where your directions get a little crappy, folks. Um, I'm assuming it's the little guys, and I'm, I'm putting a little, a little screw on here with a washer, all right? Spreading that load. We're going to tighten this down and then do the other side.
and you will need your Allen wrench to do this. Let's get a little bit more height on this. All right, so I'm gonna hold the nut with that tool and then crank on my own wrench. And of course we're gonna drop it on the floor. I'll probably do that again before the video's over. A problem with not having a really good long Allen wrench to hold on to. So that actually is tightening up nice, squaring this thing up, right? That's the other thing about the stabilization arm to hopefully get these legs at a 90 degree angle. So we're done there. Let's go to the other side, grab a couple more nuts. Or not nuts, more washers, I should say. And we will get this thing started. All right, so we want to put the other the other screw in with a washer. And I'm going to tighten this one down. You know, folks, uh, some mistakes made here and there, and some obvious uh, issues with the recording itself but um, this I gotta say for myself this is one of the best um, assemblies I could do because of how difficult it is to do this stuff on the floor I've decided what the heck I'll do it on the counter and I think this provides you guys with a much better view of how things are going together And once again, I'm using the, the wrench on the nut, cranking this thing down. So if I did the nut, I'd have to spin it for so long and take it off. So that's nice and tight. All right. Like I said, folks, go back. Make sure you have washers on all these uh, these bolts. That would be the one thing that I would fix. All right. Now we can install our drink cup. And that simply is, let's see, one of these is for your headphones, so it appears that one's for the headphones. And we'll, we'll do, uh, this doesn't really matter, but the picture has headphones on the uh, left side, so we flip this over. If we're going to make it just like the picture. I am right-handed, so there's probably a good chance I'm going to grab with my grab my headphones with my right hand. <laughs> 